the Anchor 8-in-1 USB-C hub. What's in the box and is it worth it? We'll stick around and find out. Hi, I'm Dave of Tech Experts and I help entrepreneurs to close the gaps that exist across the tools needed for your online business. Today, I'm going to do an unboxing and go over an Anchor hub. It's called an 8-in-1 USB-C hub. It covers multiple devices that you can connect to it. And we're going to take a look at what's in the box, what you get with it, and what you can all connect up to it. Before I get to that, I want to welcome you to my channel. Now, I hope you find my videos helpful. If so, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like the content I'm releasing, please give me the big thumbs up. And the little bell notification lets you know whenever new content comes out. Let's get into this unboxing. The Anchor Series 5 Power USB D Anchor Hub. There we go. That's what it is. It's the 8 in 1 USB C PD 10 gigabits data hub. That is a lot, but that is also all the stuff it covers. So we're going to do this unboxing of this. Um, great for what you get. I like the little pull out tab here. So flip it over so I don't dump everything. You get a welcome guide. That's nice. Bag. And this is the hub. So it's got a short USB-C cable on it. It's designed for you to be plugging it into your laptop or computer. It gives you a little warning about features, what it supports, and, and how the display functions work that you can't do the USB-C in here to do the display. But it does come with um, HDMI, USB-C 10 gigabits on this one. This is power in on this one. There is a gigabit ethernet jack on the top here. There we go. Now on this side, you have a little light for letting you know it's working. Two SD card slots. So the standard big size SD and the um, micro SD. And then two USB-A uh, slots that are 10 gigabits as well. So it's nice because it lets you basically use all your devices you want with your mobile device. So you can plug this into your laptop or your desktop, and then you can plug power into this, and then that will power your device using the power in here. And then, like I said, you can plug a USB device in here. You can do HDMI out of here, so you can push out your monitor out of this. You can do two USB-A ports, and they're fast. Uh, two different card reader sizes and there's an ethernet jack so it's perfect for like the laptops and the devices that don't have an ethernet port it's small enough you can see it's a little bit bigger than my hand fits easily and comes with this nice little so it's a traveling bag oh cool feels good has a little sort of slot there for tucking the cable in on the outside just one side is open so it's designed to do this slide this in here and then you can tuck your cable in the front and it slides all the way in so it's nice and you can toss it in a bag or whatever and you're not going to damage anything with it the cable is not going to get banged up if you want to toss it in next to your laptop or your screen you don't have to worry about it scratching that up. Cool quick guide tells you about all the ports, what you can connect to everything, how it all connects together, and how you can use everything at a glance. That's what you get in the box. So let's see how it works. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and that's what's in the box. I'll show you what it looks like when I have it plugged in as well, so you can see what it looks like when I plug it in on my desk. Card for SD. 
that's for my camera. I've got the micro one I use with my phone and any other sort of small ones I use. You got two USB-A ports. So one of them I'm using a hard drive. One of them I want to be able to use a real webcam with my uh, laptop. On the other side here, I have HDMI out for my big monitor. Next to this, I've got the one to plug my phone in when I want to plug in my phone, charge and transfer from it. This one is giving me the ability to charge my laptop through this. And I have a ethernet port on the end so I can stay secure and have a fast connection when I'm working at home and don't have to use Wi-Fi. And then the one USB-C port that goes into my laptop then lets me charge my laptop and connect all these devices. So if you only have like two USB-C ports like the new Dell XPS 13 or the MacBook Air, you can charge your device from that one of those ports while you have all the devices plugged in as long as you, as long as you plug in the one that goes into the wall charger. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give me the big thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends and family. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button for me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I always ask you to subscribe because I want to keep you in the know. We have more how do I ads, more tech tips, more reviews, and more things we want you to be in the know about that are worth getting during the Black Friday holiday season. So, I want to know, if you haven't checked out my show description, please do so down below. I will have a link to this hub. I'll also have a link to the classic USB-A hub with like four ports on it for that style if you want one of those. And I'll also have links to longer cable runs. So, if you want to extend your cable out for this because you need more room, I'll have a link up for those as well. Those will all be affiliate links. They do pay me a small commission. The commission does continue to help me make amazing new content like this. But... I just want to make sure you're getting what you need. So what is the item you are looking for as a stocking stuffer for your holiday season? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. What Again, I'm David Tech Experts and I look forward to working with you.